it's really only been nine months since we've taken office. Of course, we presented uh, budget 2019 only a few months ago, and that budget laid out a complete four-year fiscal plan, a fiscal plan that uh, would bring this province to balance uh, within our first term, within uh, by year four. And I can tell you this, uh, that we're on track with that plan. Getting Alberta back to work, getting our spending under control, uh, getting services to people, to Albertans who need them, and getting a fair deal within Confederation. We share the frustration of so many Albertans um, when we've been a province who's made an absolute outsized contribution to Confederation. And then we see a federal government implement policies that are absolutely contrary to the economic interests and to the interests of Albertans, and I would suggest the interest of Canadians. That's why we've devoted a chapter to it. We took an awful lot of time over the summer and fall and in fact have reevaluated our plan now to, uh, to really bring a surgical approach to spending reduction in this province. And, uh, and again, I've been, I've been very clear, and I'll say it again, if, if we do encounter um, broad economic global conditions that are outside of our control, that uh, erode our revenue projections, additional fiscal restraint, restraint will be required. We're predicting that WTI prices will, uh, not this year, but next year, start to move up into the very low 60s. We're also predicting that our differential will widen, and those are largely offsetting fundamentals. Uh, we're projecting the differential will widen to uh, over $19 this year and then to, uh, to over 20 next year, only narrowing in year four to $16 uh, after we see, we've seen additional pipeline access come on.